Hey guys, welcome back with another tutorial. This is a part three of the uh, series of how to create a uh, WordPress, eBay, dropshipping websites. Uh, if you haven't seen the last two parts of the uh, uh, tutorial, please uh, watch those also. But uh, in this video, we are going to uh, go through the uh, uh, eBay uh, plugin. Uh, this is the uh, WP Lister Pro for eBay. Now this uh, plugin is cost about $150 a year, but uh, if you go with the uh, Millennial websites, uh, all you have to do is just uh, pay a monthly fee for uh, your whole website. That's including a free custom domain name, uh, SSL certificate, Elementor Pro, Yoast, SEO Premiums, uh, Ali2Woo, uh, Dropshipping Pro, uh, WP eBay list of pro now all you have to do is just uh, uh, sign up for the website uh, over here uh, we have a few uh, demos and uh, if you like a certain demos all you have to do is just uh, install uh, this uh, website uh, and you will get uh, the exact uh, website hey guys uh, thank you for watching these videos uh, I just wanted to say that uh, this method is uh, one of the most affordable way to uh, start up on uh, e-commerce business uh, compared to uh, Shopify and uh, having hiring a web developer to build the website for you which uh, costs about three four hundred dollars just to get the website up and running uh, not including uh, having to uh, purchase the uh, pro plugin like the uh, WP uh, eBay lister uh, that plugin uh, costs you about a hundred and fifty dollars uh, per year so uh, this all you have to do is just pay 10 uh, 15 20 dollars a month uh, to uh, learn how to uh, build the website yourself and uh, learn how to uh, manage uh, this whole uh, process of uh, drop shipping you can test out all the products you've been uh, wanting to uh, test out to uh, find the uh, best seller but possibly in the future so when you find that uh, those products you can contact your supplier to uh, uh, buy in bulk uh, by the time uh, your listing already uh, available on eBay and on your website. As you can see, uh, these demos are uh, responsive. Uh, so that means it will work on uh, any uh, devices. Uh, that's including the uh, tablet, mobile devices, desktop and uh, laptop. But uh, in this video, uh, we'll... Uh, uh, go through the uh, eBay uh, settings uh, first uh, we'll um, connect the uh, account uh, uh, with the uh, website so we'll go over here and uh, we'll uh, sign in all you have to do is just go over here uh, click on account and right here I'm already uh, connect to my eBay account but uh, what you can do is you go over here and choose the uh, eBay site uh, click over here and then uh, hit the uh, connect with uh, eBay uh, once you uh, log in with eBay account and then uh, all you have to do is just go back here and uh, hit the uh, fetch eBay token and then uh, that's it after that when you uh, connect the account as you can see over here so when you sign in because I'm already uh, uh, logging with my account uh, you guys can uh, do this uh, yourself uh, but once you sign in, uh, go over here and hit the uh, fetch eBay token. After that, you can uh, hit uh, refresh details so that uh, your website will get the um, uh, data from your eBay account also. Okay, uh, we can go over here the general settings. Uh, over here, I think the, uh, the default is uh, manual not recommended but for me I choose uh, five minutes for the uh, uh, website to update uh, automatically and uh, over here I have the uh, uh, synchronized sales uh, I choose the uh, recommended because uh, I want the uh, website to create order when uh, my eBay account get like uh, a sale so that uh, it will create the uh, WooCommerce uh, order over here, uh, like this one, like uh, the last uh, tutorials. 
I had a sale and uh, I went through that uh, process of uh, showing you guys how to uh, fulfill the uh, order. But uh, here you go. Uh, so uh, when I get a sale, uh, WooCommerce will create an order and all, you, uh, all I have to do is just hit the uh, order fulfillment and then uh, it will pop up a new tab to uh, fulfill the order for this uh, customer. But uh, let's get back on the uh, setting page. Uh, you can enable uh, eBay messages uh, on the uh, website also. So uh, this, uh, this um, what do you call this uh, eBay uh, plugin is uh, very uh, uh, effective uh, if you want to start a uh, an uh, e-commerce business. Okay, uh, that's about that. After we uh, do the setting over here, we uh, need to uh, create a uh, template for our website okay so over here i have a, a few templates already um, we need to create a template before we need to create a profile uh, let's go through uh, this one click uh, edit what you need to do is uh, uh, over here you create a new template and then uh, you can browse or view the uh, visual uh, of this template. This is the um, uh, template for your eBay uh, description. Uh, this is a, you can uh, change these. Uh, if you don't have a logo yet, you can delete this. Uh, you can uh, enter your uh, your shipping costs or delivery time you can write out your your terms your sale terms on eBay uh, once you uh, finish uh, you can uh, save this template that's it now you can uh, preview the, what what it would look like on eBay this is uh, the descriptions and uh, what it would look like the uh, the code is uh, using uh, HTML and CSS, so you can uh, customize that also. So when you're done with the uh, customizations, you can save it. Uh, let's go through the uh, profile. All we have to do is just hit uh, Add New Profile. Uh, I will name it Tutorial. And then uh, we need to uh, choose the uh, template uh, that's we just uh, created new template and over here we will uh, set up the uh, terms for our uh, profile so for each uh, profile we can choose uh, uh, one uh, primary uh, category uh, okay but uh, let's let's do this one first uh, the uh, durations I would choose uh, good until cancels handling time like uh, two to three days because like sometimes shipping from uh, uh, China uh, they take a long time to uh, uh, process the order so uh, this case you won't get any uh, penalty from uh, eBay for shipping the item uh, too long uh, last uh, videos I uh, import a product uh, which was a um, let's see uh, what was the uh, products I import last time? It was a uh, a, 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 a what you call it? A uh, speakers, a portable speakers, twenty watts portable speakers. Right here, uh, we import this product for thirty dollars, and now we're selling it for sixty dollars. So uh, some somewhere in between, after the uh, fees and. Uh, uh, eBay fee, PayPal fee, and shipping costs will probably make about $20 per sale. Okay, so uh, let's go back to the profile. We'll choose a category for this uh, product so we can uh, list that on eBay. Let's see, uh, this is a speakers, uh, consumers, electronics portables, audios, and headphones. Uh, audio, docks, and mini speakers. Uh, these uh, item uh, specifics 
will get imported also like uh, you don't have to do anything about uh, that uh, it will import these uh, specific to eBay also uh, okay uh, we will choose the uh, shipping uh, policy uh, I will choose uh, China's warehouse uh, you can uh, create these um, uh, shipping uh, policy uh, you can create uh, policies by uh, just uh, go to your eBay account and then hit on uh, the uh, account then uh, choose the uh, policies and then uh, once you're in there you can uh, you can uh, create a new policy for your uh, account and then uh, after that you hit the uh, settings and go refresh your page uh, refresh your eBay account and then uh, go back here uh, you will see it here okay for international shipping uh, I will leave that uh, empty for now uh, payment method I will choose uh, this one okay and your policy you can create that policies in uh, eBay website also uh, return accepted okay Let's go over here. We we'll choose the uh, location for 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 this. I'll choose uh, China's, and the postal code is uh, China. Also, if you if you don't know the uh, postal code for China, just uh, type in uh, China zip code. Then uh, you can use this one hundred thousand. Okay. You can enter it here. One hundred thousand. We can choose uh, China. Here we are. Uh, currency. I will leave it as a uh, USD uh, tax. Sometimes I do uh, use a uh, tax table. Use a uh, fixed tax rate of uh, seven twenty-five. Okay, uh, over here, make sure you choose the um, use our images. These are the uh, images going to get loaded to uh, your gallery because uh, the um, the free versions of this uh, plugin they uh, do let you use uh, all the features except the uh, all the uh, images. They only uh, load one uh, image to your gallery. Uh, best offer no, shutting nose, auto release no. Uh, you don't really have to uh, well, worry about this. All we want to do is just uh, get uh, the website up and running, and then uh, once we have more time, we can dig deep into these by uh, just hovers over these uh, question marks. It will give you the uh, definition for these uh, features. Okay, look good. Now I will save it. Okay. Now let's uh, go back to our product that we imported in the last uh, video. Uh, if you haven't seen those videos, just pause this one and open it. Uh, I will put the link uh, right in the uh, corner of this video. Uh, you can watch that once and then uh, when you're done uh, watching it uh, come back here and uh, continue with this uh, process of listing the uh, product to eBay so once we do that all we have to do is just click over here or you can click over here and hit the uh, search uh, icon we'll choose the uh, profile we just uh, created uh, new profile tutorial we'll select that profile then now you see it's prepared uh, over here we can uh, hit uh, this button to view our prepare listing now we can uh, verify with eBay uh, during this step uh, if you have any error uh, it will show you some it will take some time to uh, verify with eBay and uh, once that come back listing had too many items specific ah okay now that that one give us uh, some uh, problem 
uh, what we can do is just hit over here we'll uh, delete some uh, uh, item specific there we are uh, so uh, basically these are the um, item specifics uh, eBay didn't really tell us uh, how many uh, uh, item specific uh, is qualified for one listing but uh, we just uh, delete some okay so, uh, let's uh, try I just uh, delete some uh, attributes uh, let's uh, update this uh, listing uh, okay so uh, eBay just uh, give us uh, an error after we update this listing had too many item specifics this uh, reduce the numbers to 45 or less and try again 24 okay so uh, we'll verify again one more time with the uh, eBay I think uh, because uh, we didn't uh, verify earlier that's why it still give us the uh, error code but let's uh, try our luck there we are now uh, our item are listed on uh, eBay now we can uh, view the uh, listing on eBay. There we are. And uh, this item has uh, all the uh, images that come with. I just get uh, an email saying that uh, my listing is uh, um, listed on eBay. As you can see, uh, this is the uh, pre-built uh, template that we uh, just uh, created earlier. Shipping cost is free always, uh, 3.5 days. Uh, as you can see over here, the uh, item specifics. These will help uh, us uh, greatly to get the uh, customers. Like when somebody search on eBay, um, based on these uh, item specific sometimes the uh, user they enter these uh, uh, let's say uh, indoor outdoor sound bar or something uh, we have a, a better chance of uh, getting uh, a sale on eBay uh, in future's video I want to uh, share with you guys how to uh, sync products from your website to uh, Facebook and uh, how to uh, advertise uh, your product on your website on uh, Google Shopping and uh, possibly uh, have to sing your products from uh, your website to uh, Amazon also. Uh, I hope you guys uh, like this uh, content and if you like it please uh, give me a, a, a like and uh, subscribe to my channels so I can uh, show you guys more uh, of these uh, contents in the futures. Okay, thank you for watching and I will see you in the next video. Ciao!